Greetings, everybody. I am the Starving Martian, and today we're taking a look at a Transformers toy from one of the most widely disliked uh, Transformer franchises out there. That's right, this is a Beast Machines uh, Transformer. His name is Maul, or Mole. Uh, not sure how you pronounce that. It's actually spelled two different ways on his package. But, um, but I call him Burrow, and we're going to get into that in just a minute. But uh, first and foremost, so this is Maul. He is a Beast Machines Transformer. He is a deployer. Which means he is a sad, soulless, <laughs> semi-sentient servant. Um, according to the uh, back of his package, it actually says this about the deployers. In the deepest recesses of Cybertron, Night Scream discovers a band of automated mechanical beasts forged from ancient Transformer technology. These former task drones were protected from the ravages of time. Though small in stature and lacking sparks of their own, the deployers use their firepower and rapid transformation abilities to combat the despotic rule of Megatron. So, uh, so yeah, basically he's a bit of, uh, uh, of work equipment. There were three, um, deployers. They all, um, feature an animal mode, which is kind of odd, because, um, According to, to Beast Machines, everyone on Cybertron, nobody had an animal mode until this whole reformatting business started, but whatever. They all have an animal mode, and it's, um, the other thing that's odd is everybody in Beast Machines has, like, an organic animal mode, and these guys have a very mechanical animal mode, but, um, be that as it may, there were three of these guys, and this one it tends to be the least popular of the bunch, um... He has, in my opinion, the best uh, beast mode, or robot mode, but his uh, weapons mode leaves a lot to be desired. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our little mole-faced friend over here. So, that's what he looks like head-on if he's running at you. He's got the little dial here, little wheel, uh, above his head, which you can spin... To make this drill go around but when you do that you're going to activate his transformation gimmick so as long as I already activated his transformation gimmick let's go ahead and get him transformed and uh, that was it he's transformed already so basically to transform this guy you push down on his head and his body will spring up and all you have to do is adjust the legs to get him to balance if you don't put the legs all the way back like that he's gonna flop over He's also got these little handles, which the instructions don't mention, but you're supposed to pull those out. And now, any Maximal can use him to either drill into the earth, or slice into the wall with this buzzsaw he's got hanging out over there. So in this mode, the um, little spinny thing over there still does what it does. Uh, I haven't really found any Transformers, Beast Machines or otherwise, that can hold on to those things. But uh, we're going to bring out a basic class Transformer. And yeah, that's about what that would look like. Um, I want to use this tool because the drill is like right in between your legs. Uh, I'd be afraid of it kicking stones up where I don't want stones being kicked. Uh, but as you can see, he does kind of match well with a basic uh scout size here he is with a deluxe let's get him out of the way and here he is with more or less a voyager size all right so he's just that's pretty much it he's a nifty little um drill thing now one thing he does do though i showed you that buzz saw that actually fires and you could do this in either mode so let's bring out everybody's favorite <coughs> canadian crash test dummy all right so he's got a little button right about there so you just aim him where you want and a buzz saw of death ejects from his rear end 
which is a sentence I never thought I'd have to say. And so here's the uh, buzzsaw. Looks very nice. Uh, it's got this little peg here that you see. So it plugs back in. Now because of that, because it plugs in this way, the saw is immobile. It won't spin around or anything, which is a little bit unfortunate. So um, the other thing you can do with them, which just like these handlebars is not documented, is not on this package, is this little bit over his head is actually removable. And just going to get your fingernail under there. And so that they, they sculpted in more detail under there. So um, it's um, good for when he's in drill mode. It makes it look more mechanical. The only problem is then there's nowhere to clip this. And so this little bit here can easily get lost. And I've seen loose samples of this guy um, on eBay. And uh, a lot of them are missing his little face shield. So if you're going to buy this guy loose, just make sure that he comes complete. But I would recommend picking them up brand new if you want one because they're not all that expensive. Um, I got this for $6. That was shipping included. Most of them tend to run around the um, $10 mark. So to transform them back, just... Uh, Get them kind of pushed back into shape here. And there's um, a hole here on the underside of his head. Now you can see it. And there's um, this little clip part right there. And so you just kind of line it all up. And he's ready to go. Push the little handlebars back down. So you got to be careful with uh, this guy if you're fooling around with him. Because it doesn't take much pressure at all on his head to activate a spring gimmick so his uh, transformation isn't that spectacular um but i do really like his little beastie mode here interesting thing about his beastie mode is he has no faction symbol he doesn't have a maximal or a viacon let alone a autobot or decepticon so you know if you didn't know this was a transformer you might not have any idea what it was just a funny little drill mole tank thing so we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at his package because I want to show you something interesting. Here's the front of his package here. You can see the uh, all spark thing going on there. There's Cheetor growling at us. Originally sold for five bucks at Kmart. And we're going to flip it around. All right, so this was his original color scheme. Um, the one I have is a repaint. I actually prefer the, um, the, the repaint. The blues and the greens, I think, work a lot better. But uh, but initially, he came in this color. And you can see up here, it says Maul and then Mole. So, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. But uh, but I call him Burrow because when they made the repaint of this guy, uh, he was initially going to be a completely different character. All three deployers were getting a repaint and a new name and a new bio and everything. Um... But, you know, they apparently they ran out of money. They, they could afford to um, to make the, the repaint of them, but not make a whole new package. So uh, they just got packed with the old pack and the old color scheme. So here's his two deployer buddies down here. There's Rav on top. Um, easily the most popular of these three. And then Dillo. And then poor unloved, unlovely mole. And when I say unloved, I'm, I'm not even kidding. This guy, according to his bio, is, is depressed. <laughs> He's, um, let's see. Determined, deliberate, and often depressed, the subterranean demolition expert can bore his way into any areas where no ally would dare to tread. Recently reformatted, following eons of deactivation in the hands of the Decepticons, this always dutiful mall is usually called to search for organic life or to plant sophisticated... Uh, silicon encased explosives near Viacon emplacements. When in bore mode, he can fire his metal tearing serrated circular blade at attacking Viacons with circular slicing accuracy. He projects a negative attitude that makes his fellow Maximals a bit uneasy. Not exactly the life of the party, but reliable to a fault. And they don't say why he's depressed, 
But I would assume that being soulless has something to do with it. He's also not very bright. He has an intelligence uh, ranking of 3 out of 10. Speed of 2.4. Uh, his courage is 8.5, and that's his only real high stat. So, not the most um, useful uh, maximal uh, to have in your army, for sure. And so, in robot mode, here he is once again. With some other beast bots. Just for scale's sake. And here's a more recent Legends class. You can see he is bigger than that. So if Maul ever needs to feel big, just put a Legends class guy next to him and he'll think he's a giant. Alrighty, so that's Maul or Mole or Burrow. That was supposed to be his new name, Burrow. Never happened. But that's what I call him because it's more original than Mole, at least. Hey, it's a Mole. Let's call him Mole. Actually, I'd call him the um, Underminer, but I think that was taken already. So, would I recommend one of these? Eh, kind of, sort of, in a way, if you find one cheap enough. Like I said, it doesn't really look like a Transformer. The transformation is pretty weak. Um, and and it doesn't even have like a, a faction symbol. So, Which could be a plus because that means you can put them on any side you want or in any group you want. Any um, It doesn't even have to hang out with the Transformers if you got something better you could be with. Um, you know, I could see using them even with like a Jurassic Park or something like that as an excavation tool and a dinosaur uh, <laughs> dig or I don't know. Use your imagination. That's what it's there for, people. Um, but this guy, this guy isn't great. He, he, you know, I don't want to say anything too bad about him on camera because he's already depressed. <laughs> but, um, but he has he has no posability in robot mode. His legs can swing out, but that's just for transformation. His nose can spin if that does anything for you. Um, I don't know, he's a neat little guy, but I wouldn't pay more than like six or seven for him. So, um, yeah, that's about it. That's what I got to say on the subject of mall slash mole slash burrow slash fill in the blank. So this has been the Starving Martian. We'll come back another time with another review. But until then, as I always say, keep watching the skies. We'll see you later.